Now, back in the day when mountain bikes were first developed back in the 1980s, it was very much a North American thing. But e-mountain bikes, on the other hand, do seem to be well represented globally. So on today's show, we're going to be looking at some of the hottest bikes of 2021 from different countries. Chris, I'm going to kick things off with a brand from Slovakia, not a traditional mountain bike country, the Kelly's Theos F90. Now this comes with an EP8 motor, mm -hmm. uh, 170mm travel, obviously it's got that all new material in the frame. We're really looking forward to catching up with the guys at uh, Kelly's in the months ahead. Uh, 720 watt hour battery, this bike comes in at 7,999 euros, but certainly a new kid on the block when it comes to e-mountain bikes. Definitely a good looking machine that, as is the Merida E140, obviously coming from Taiwan here. It's got the EP8 motor in there, 140 mil travel. Now it doesn't sound like a lot, but as we found out on Dartmoor, it could pretty much do everything, couldn't it? Yeah. Got the mixed wheel sizes on there, 630 watt hour battery, and coming in, you know, lots of different models in this range, but this one, 5,200 great British pounds. Well, what I will say there, Chris, does it look quite as good when you're throwing it across a Dartmoor bog? That is the question. <laughs> uh, now, a few bikes now from, from the UK. First up mm -hmm. is a bike we saw with Rob Warner just before Christmas. This is the, this is the Vitus E Summit VRS, 170 mil travel, uh, 630 watt hour battery, again, mixed wheel sizes and geometry changes that go up with the sizing, 4,799 pounds. And yep. a bike we saw recently, which was the Saracen E50. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, the uh, EP8 motor in there. Again, the mixed wheel size. Uh, and £4,499 uh, mm -hmm. for the base model. But yeah. uh, one bike we cannot forget uh, when it comes to UK, and that is the white bike, which we uh, which we featured last summer. Um, 5,200 great British pounds, as you say. Uh, yeah. But let's not forget about the E180 bike as well. So. Um, that is a Bosch powered e-mountain bike and, mm. uh, and some great geometry and great sizing for Definitely. tall riders as well. Yeah, well, I want to fly over the ocean to Germany for this one, Steve. This is from Canyon, the Torque. Obviously, it's got the EP8 motor on it, 180 mil travel, bit of a free ride kind of park bike. Um, it's got the 504 watt hour battery from Shimano. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but you can get this bike with a two battery option. And again, it is designed for downhill, free ride stuff, 27.5 wheels and 4,499 Great British pounds for that low end uh, base model. Have you, uh, have you hit the bike down the bike park yet on your talk? I have not yet. I'm, I'm dying. I'm just going to wait for it to dry out a bit, Steve. I don't want to get that bike right. plastered. I've had enough of bog trotting yeah, after Dartmoor. But... But like you said, Chris, that's uh, an all aluminium chassis on that bike. And, a, a, you know, it's a, a bit of a brute, right? Certainly a, definitely. a gravity Slack and bike and low. bike. Yeah. Slack and low, definitely. Now, continuing on our German theme, um, mm -hmm. two bikes here which have caught my eye. Uh, the first one is the Conway Zyron uh, S727. Nice. 727. This comes with a Bosch motor. I love the colorway on some of these Conway bikes. They've got great sizing to them. And another bike from Germany, this is in the 5,000 euro class, and it's the Radon Render. We've talked about this a few nice. times on the show. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a bike which comes with a option of an alloy or a carbon front end on it. Um, 458 millimeter chainstay, which puts it as one of the longer chainstays uh, of mm -hmm. e-mountain bikes, which I'm guessing will make it a pretty handy climber. Definitely. Uh, but Chris, moving slightly uh, west towards the Atlantic Ocean, talk us through yeah. the Orbea Rise. Yeah, so this is the Orbea Rise, which you recently spent quite a bit of time on, Steve, and you had good feedback from. Obviously, it's got that EP8 motor on it with the RS tune, so it's a slightly detuned motor. Um, it's a 140 mil travel bike, 360 watt hour battery on there, 29 inch wheels front and rear and it's £6,999 for that base model of this bike. But a pretty yeah. capable bike, right, Steve? Absolutely. Now, the, the thing, so we've now moved into sort of lightweight e-mountain bike territory. Now, this, uh, the, the bikes, there's, there's several models. Some of the lighter bikes are 18 kilos, which is, you know, pretty lightweight. But as I found recently, you know, even though this is a detuned EP8 motor, it still actually gives you uh, the equivalent, of, I think that, 
gives you the equivalent range of uh, an EP8 motor with a 630 watt hour battery. So 630 EP8 versus 360 watt hours on, on the Orbea bike gives you around about the same size, uh, same range. So certainly something for you guys to think about there when you're choosing your first e-mountain bike. Chris, Definitely. let's have a look at some Bosch bikes then. Uh, let's, Bosch. Kick thing, let's kick things off with a bike we talked about recently, the Mondrake Level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Big a good looking travel. bike this. Big yeah. travel. 170 mil coil shock on this one, so aimed more at that sort of kind of super enduro downhill kind of riding. 625 watt hour in tube battery, 29 inch wheels, 7,999 pounds for this model. Yeah. But again, big hit and bike that at a good price. Yeah, uh, now something a little bit short to travel and from mm -hmm. across the Atlantic Ocean, Trek have got the Powerfly, which is uh, 100 mil travel. But as we spoke about a few weeks ago, it's the Caliber, the E Caliber with the Fazua motor, mm -hmm. which has certainly caught a lot of people's eyes. Super lightweight bike, uh, 250 watt hour battery, 60 mil travel, which makes it probably one of the shortest travel E mountain bikes I've se ever seen, at least. Definitely. Yeah, and it's a great, I think that bike is two bikes in one as well. So that Fazua system, you can whip that motor and the battery out and have it as a standard mountain bike, which I think is pretty cool and quite, you know, a good price base model again, 6,300 pounds for that. But two bikes in one, not bad. Now, uh, moving east to Taiwan, mm -hmm. the giant stance, E plus two, sync drive motor. It, I'm, I feel a little bit saddened that not more brands are taking advantage of the of what is essentially the Yamaha PWX2 motor, Chris. It's a, it's a, it's a superb motor. Now this this giant does actually uh, come in 120 mil travel, 500 watt hour battery, and 3,299 pounds, which is a, seems a pretty good deal to me. Yeah, definitely. With that, I think the Giant with their motors is sync drive motors, exactly the same as Yamaha. They've got their own app as well, and it's got that cool, uh, basically like the Bosch EMTB mode. So you've got that auto mode on the Giant system, which uh, will adjust to the amount of uh, pedal input you put in. So it'll go from turbo to eco, dependent on how hard you're working, and of course, that app as well. So great yeah. price bike, that. So, uh, as we mentioned, Europe is richly represented mm -hmm. in the e-mountain bike world and me and Chris were fortunate enough to get a, go across to Croatia a few years ago to ride the great bikes. Obviously, mm -hmm. this is a sister brand or brother brand to Rimat's uh, electric supercars. Um, we were blown away by the fact it's actually got one of the smallest 700 watt hour batteries on the market. We really liked the, the motor on that bike when, when we rode it there, didn't we, Chris? Super quiet. Yeah, um, it's a cool motor, isn't it? It does have an oil bath as well. It's completely waterproof, which was yeah. pretty cool as well. And as you mentioned, that 700 watt hour battery, not only is it super quick, I think like two seconds to change, it's actually only 650 euros if you want another one of those. So that's yeah. 1,400 watt hours of power. You know, yeah, for a pretty good price. So, and uh, the tech, crazy on that bike, isn't it? Tech, yeah, that's crazy. Cameras front and rear. Uh, when it comes mm -hmm. to connectivity, that is certainly uh, up there. Definitely. Now, Andorra has a brand which did launch last year, but the bikes, from what we gather, are about to come available, and that is the Forestal, uh, the Sirion bike, 170 mil travel. It's got the Eon drive. It's got touchscreen display on it. Um, 60 newton meters motor on there. Uh, magnesium housing, zero resistance, uh, 350 watt hour battery with an optional 350 watt hour extender on there. Uh, it's it's an amazing looking bike and we cannot wait to see this bike in the flesh, can we, for sure. Definitely, I think the tech on that, you mentioned with the great, but this thing is a rival to that. It can record G-Force airtime, <laughs> all the updates, it's got remote um, updates as well. Measure your heart rate, anti-theft on it. The list is literally endless, but price-wise, 7,500 euros for that launch bike. And yeah. It actually comes with a year's supply of tires, which is pretty cool too. Yeah. Now, uh, let's not forget Canada in, in our mm -hmm. global store of e-mountain bike and the, the Norco Range VLT is a hell of a looker. And mm -hmm. uh, But I think it's the Rocky Mountain Powerplay, which is possibly a bike which we don't talk about enough uh, mm -hmm. on the show. It's, uh, it's superb motor to that, really, really punchy. So when it comes to technical climbs, the old power play really can, uh, what's the word, punch punch above its weight, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> Definitely. But, uh, moving back to Andorra though, so Andorra really is a bit of a epicenter for e-mountain bikes. So mm -hmm. the Commensal, the uh, the bike we rode recently, um, the Meta Power, this, this one really 
caught my eye. It's the Olin's special edition version, which mm. I really like. Um, Good looking bike, that isn't it? Yeah, for sure. But um, Chris, Italy. We haven't talked about Italy yet. What, what have we got from oh, Italy? Of course. We've got Thok e-bikes. Um, it's got that ETP8 motor on it as well, the, the Ducati one as well. Look at yeah. that. That is a great looking bike, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, so you know, we talk about, you know, mm -hmm. we've, we've seen a lot of brands, you know, a lot of car brands such as Porsche, which we spoke of recently. Mm -hmm. uh, but this this Ducati bike, if you're looking for something a little bit special, then that's certainly on the, on the list. Uh, and Definitely. France, now a brand from France, which actually were one of the pioneers of e-mountain bikes, and that is Moustache. Now, Moustache have got a fantastic range of e-mountain bikes. They've got their own custom shock tunes, which are e-mountain bike specific, mm -hmm. um, and there's loads of detail on their bikes. I mean, it's the 160, 170 bike, which has really caught my eye because um, super lightweight, like I said, great detail on it uh, from one of the pioneers of the sport. And finally, a brand with a Swedish heritage, but now located in Austria, is Husqvarna. Now, Husqvarna have got a range of bikes with a Shimano EP8 motor in them. Uh, I think it's the Extreme Cross and the Mountain Cross, which are the ones that really take my eye, especially the Mountain Cross, I think, Chris. That black yeah, I think bike, wow, looks amazing. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, with their traditional Husky colors as well, Bikes for all sorts of discipline. You've got that big downhill bike, enduro bikes, hardtails. I think they're ticking the list for most yeah. disciplines, aren't they? Yeah. So there you go, folks. Uh, a not so brief look at some of the current 2021 e-mountain bikes from around the globe. Uh, as you can see, mountain bikes, uh, e-mountain bikes at least, has now become very much a global thing compared to the mountain bike scene as it was 30 years ago. But I think when it comes to development, uh, this is definitely where most of the development is taking place and where the focus of many brand managers' brains are is definitely mm -hmm. in the e-mounted bike scene. Uh, folks, um, we have, obviously, there's, there's dozens of bikes we've left out. This is just like a bit of a taster of what's out there at the minute, but let us know your thoughts. What's your favorite e-mounted bikes at the minute? And uh, uh, yeah, let's, let's just chat bikes. It's great. Uh, I think probably the hottest news this mm -hmm. week, uh, Chris, is the fact that Tony Bow has now moved to Specialized and him riding that bike has absolutely blown my mind. <laughs> I can sense a big collab coming on here, Steve. I think he's one of your childhood heroes, isn't he? So, well, not a childhood hero. Childhood? He's not a childhood <laughs> hero. He's my hero, full stop. Exactly. Uh, and what about a uh, French rider, Antoine Bouffard, yeah. going pretty wild You're on the trails in this mulch jump? Yeah, he's doing some cool stuff here. We've seen quite a few BMX-inspired stuff coming recently to mountain bikes, but it's good to see the e-mountain bikes getting on there, Bump, yeah, bumping the nose off their 360s, double bar spins, tail whips, 360s. This guy has definitely got it going on. So it's cool to see all these tricks coming to e-mountain bikes. Might be a little bit harder, but people pushing the limits is definitely good to see. Uh, Chris, coming up on the show this weekend actually is a Shimano tips and tricks. So we go, we try to give you guys some insider information, how to get the best out of your Shimano EP8 mm -hmm. motor. That's coming out on Sunday. Yeah, and on Monday, we've got the tech show coming up. We take out all the latest uh, tech coming from all over the world. And there's a few tips on there about looking after your kit too. A lot of comments and questions on your towing video, Chris. This one from OK Frax, who says, when I go, go grocery shopping with my urban Bosch mid-drive e-bike, I get totally loaded with groceries filled with both bags and then put a milk crate and fill it up on the back rack and my legs never feel nothing. No, I think... uh, and then Turbo Lever says Sam Pilgrim was first on that. No. Uh, no, we wasn't. We, Chris, we did it Chris over a year ago. Sam Pilgrim better. Yeah, we did it exactly. over a year ago on a GMBN video. I actually towed Blake Sampson's Jeep, and then that gave us the idea. Maybe Sam saw that and then thought about doing his video. But yeah, we were late to the yeah. game after that. But there you go. Yeah. Uh, 4X Images <laughs> says that poor chain. Well, that's a, another subject altogether. <laughs> and Mark Waller <laughs> says a couple of weeks ago, I towed my friend on her regular mountain bike up pretty good sized mountain that normally we would hike a bike. We both laughed and smiled all the way to the top. It was so easy. Definitely. Yeah, do you know what, folks? That, that was just a bit of fun. Mm -hmm. Bit of fun. A uh, bit of controversy about the weight of the truck. Yeah. Uh, and maybe the fact that Chris should have uh, filmed it on a hill climb. Well, <laughs> plenty to do for you next time. I, I think uh, I think the scariest thing is those bo those barrels of old Rosie. Yeah, I can that's feel it sure. definitely. We should do a challenge next time, Steve. Toe challenge, me and you, set an obstacle course up, loads of beers and kegs going on. 
maybe rolling over on the head. Sounds good? Well, as if there's not been enough tech already on this week's show, Chris has got some more news for us. Yeah, so this is Mike. He's got a 2020 high bike or mountain, um, and he's made this cool little stand out of some wood in his garden. So instead of using a work stand, he's got busy with the timber. This looks like it holds the front wheel up, pinches it up nice and stable, and there's a block under the bottom bracket area to raise that motor and the bottom bracket off the ground. He's done this really cheap, and it's a great way of doing all that maintenance. Obviously, you can pedal the bike, change the gears, adjust the brakes, things like that, oil the chain, pretty easy. Um, just for a few quid from some scrap decking boards. So if you've got any scrap decking going on, get busy with the nails and make one of these stands up. Nice work, Mike, love it. Uh, folks, I'd actually use screws if you've been that together, not nails. Right, it's time to go out and about all over the world to see where you guys have been riding your e-mountain bikes. Yes, absolutely. And Jaisa uh, on a common style Metapower SX race with EP8 motor out in uh, Wanaka Lake in New Zealand. Kicks things off very beautifully. Uh, and next up, Chris, is Jason and his Trek Rail 2021 in Belmont Regional Park in Lower Hutt, New Zealand. Uh, nice bit of sunshine there for sure. Uh, followed up by uh, Greg Boom on his uh, high bike Fat Six um, with a Manitou Mastodon EXT. I don't know what that is, mm. but uh, it looks like he's got studded tires there. Uh, out in Minneapolis. Uh, and then moving on nice. to some uh, group action, Chris. This is uh, a group of people out on a specialized Levos and Canevos mm -hmm. down in Wareham Forest in the south of England. And one final oh. uh, group of people. Quarry shot, a quarry shot. Look at this. So this is Craig with a bunch of cube stereo hybrids up in Croft in Leicestershire. Managed to make it to the top, a Croft Hill quarry on the, on the cubes. And look at that for a backdrop. Looks like some amazing lines going on in there, doesn't the it? The Grand Canyon nice. of Leicestershire. Definitely, if you want to get featured here on the show, make sure you use the upload service for anything, videos, pictures, you name it, use the uploader. Well, Chris, well, folks, it is time for the Bike Vault, and I have to say there are some mighty fine selections this week from all parts of the globe. Kicking off with Brandt uh, on Mount Seymour and a, a 2021 Focus Sam Squared 6.9. That is nice for sure. That's a nice shot. Well, check out this one from Powell. He's got a gi giant Rain E Plus 2 up in Curra Kildar in Ireland. Chilling first day after a nice break. Look at that sky. I think that's, that's got to be our first super nice, Steve. Super nice there to Powell. Now moving on to Justin and an Ecotron X9. Hmm, I've not, not seen of one of these before. Um, nice background there. It's a uh, nice composition in the Gibber Gorge. Oh. I think that's nice. I think that is nice. nice. Uh, We've got this. Meanwhile, Jonas, isn't it? And the Ghost Hybrid SLS Lama AXR. I really like this bike a lot. I'm a big fan nice, of that bike. He's out in the snow in northern, uh, northern Sweden. Looks pretty deep out there. Yeah, um, but I'm not a fan of snow. We're done with snow now. We're done with snow now. <laughs> it's, a it's nice. A, nice. Yeah. Well. And what about John and his 2021 Trek Roll 9.7 in uh, Fayetteville, uh, West Virginia? Nice I like colors. The, I like the mood of that shot. Mm, it's cool, isn't it? A bit of corrugated iron, nice colors, vibrant colors, nice t shirts. Like it. Uh, mm. Super? Super? Super nice. Super, super nice. nice. I think uh, another. And, Nice Another shot super here. nice, got to be Garby. in it, super nice. On uh, John. John's specialized 2020 Turbo Levo Comp out in Los Robles Trails in Newbury Park, California. First ride since the 90s on his new e-mountain bike, loving it. And we're loving that shot, that's definitely super nice. Uh, another bit of American action here, uh, Brandon, mm -hmm. Bulls Eco in uh, Santee, California. Uh, I think the 
rocks are a bit distracting and you get your finger over the lens there it's oh, it's yeah. almost it's almost super nice but it's a nice for now uh, yep. and the rocky mountain power play um i'm not sure it shows the best of the bike off ernst I, i'd like to see another submission in the future to you know get it a bit more side on uh but uh, we're jealous amazing bikers you have there for sure Nice. Uh, and a bit of a collection. I like this. This is nice. I, I like mm. this. A bit of detail here yeah. from Ru colors. Ruben. Yeah. I, I think the colours with those leaves and the Kashima coating going on and that yeah. Cannondale Matera just sort of hiding there. It's pretty good colours. So he's out uh, exploring his local forest with his new camera and his new e-bike. Doesn't get much better from the, uh, than that. And it doesn't get much better than a super nice for that yeah, shot. Yeah, because I think uh, Ruben, I like, you know, you put a bit of effort into it. Nice, mm. you know, it's a great sort of... Uh, you got some shots of the details of the bike. Uh, mm. I don't think I've actually seen that in the bike vault in three years. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's cool, isn't fantastic. It? Great effort. Nice. Oh, this is like giving it. me nightmares. This next shot, Steve. On oh, Dartmoor, Andy. <laughs> Andy's out in Dartmoor exploring on his cube. Brave man. Uh, Brave man. Yeah, that's is that that's near Burrata Reservoir. Uh, so yeah. I think front wheels cut off a little bit. Um, nevertheless, it's a nice mood. I'd say there's more of a wear on the world shop personally, but um, mm -hmm. it's it's Brilliant. super nice, isn't it? And I think this last, we got this shot in from Brian with his Norco Range VLT out in Gold Canyon, Arizona. Uh, 25 miles ride exploring the trails with great weather and even greater friends. I think that's what it's all about, isn't it? Getting out there, nice terrain, exploring with your friends on e-bikes. It doesn't get much better than that. And I think that is a nice shot. But so, this week's bike of the week has to be John and his specialised uh, 2022, I believe, out in um, mm -hmm. uh, Newbury Park, California, doesn't it? It's definitely it's, it's a beautiful shot. I think uh, it's a close shot with the Canadown Matera with those multi shots in there. It's a nice shot as well, but it doesn't quite take it for me. But yeah, I think you're right, Steve. And that's it for this week's show. Hope you uh, enjoyed our look at some of the bikes, the 2021 E-Mander bikes from different parts of the globe. Uh, like I said, you know, there's many, many bikes we've not covered in there. Uh, but let us know your thoughts on your favorite 2021 E-Man bikes. Don't forget to subscribe to EMN. Hit the like button if you like the bikes or like the video. And we'll see you on next week's show where we'll be joined by some very special guests. Because Chris, We'll be moving house. <laughs>